Good morning, YouTube. Let's go wrench on my Ferrari 599 conversion project some more. So are you recording all of the nefarious activities? If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan. This is my garage, and this channel is all about the supercar ownership experience. I help people buy or sell Ferraris and other supercars. I also sell supercar parts on my website, normalguysupercar.com, so go check that out right now. Use the code NGS10, it'll knock off 10%. So obviously, we haven't done much on the 599 in quite a while, and that's partly because we've been really working hard at Gated 6 to try and get the 430 kits done. So we kind of said, you know what? My car is cool, it's a cool project, it's great for marketing, but it's not the top priority because we had a ton of 430 kits that we need to actually get built. So now that those are almost ready to go, we're working on the 599 again. So we've got almost all the parts ready for the 599. Literally, there's one part left. I am like, come on, hurry up part. But uh, we also figured out a new way to program the computers. So originally, we thought we were gonna have to pull the dash computers because that's how we were gonna program it. And now we don't have to. So I ended up pulling out my dash computer for no reason. So we're gonna go reinstall the dash computer, but perhaps even more interesting to all of you who might own a Ferrari, we are going to solve permanently in what I think is the best way, the sticky buttons problem. Yes. So every single one of the Ferraris that I've owned so far has had sticky buttons. If you live in a hot climate such as Texas, it is guaranteed to eventually affect your Ferrari. All of them, does not matter you will get sticky buttons. So there's a few different ways to solve the sticky buttons problem. Uh, one of them is to just simply clean them up with rubbing alcohol, which you can do when they're kind of early on in the stickiness. Once they get to a certain point, the rubbing alcohol is not really a good solution because it kind of destroys the button. Also, even then, when you use the rubbing alcohol, it effectively removes the soft touch coating. So if you want that nice tactile feel, you have to pursue a different option. So I reached out to Sticky RX, which I think is the best permanent solution for removing sticky buttons. So what they do is you actually ship them your parts. So you take them out of your car, you ship them to them, and they actually re-laser etch them and apply a new coating that does not go bad. So that's the problem. If you think you're okay by just replacing the buttons, which is very expensive, they still go bad. So it's only a matter of time until they go bad again. I think if you really want the permanent solution and you're already going to be motivated enough to remove the parts, send them off to Sticky RX get them refinished, and then you're gonna be permanently happy with the results. That's what this box is. This box has all of the buttons for my 599, so we're gonna start reinstalling those along with the dashboard computer today and get those going. So again, go visit stickyrxrs.com and get your parts fixed for good. And yes, this is sponsored by them. They did hook me up with these parts, so a huge thanks to them because this is the first time I feel like I'm really solving this problem correctly like this is the proper solution for the sticky buttons problem so i probably am going to eventually have to do it on my 458 because i only did the rubbing alcohol thing and eventually probably the buttons will get sticky again so we'll see probably like a year from now i'll be i'll be sending my parts to them again okay so let's go down to exotic power and performance and start wrenching on this 599 again all right here we are back at exotic power performance and you can see the poor 599 is covered in a layer of dust because you know it hasn't done anything since, uh, I don't know, about six months now. Well, anyway, we're going to try and get it out the door this month. That's the goal. Out the door in March, this thing will be driving and we'll be banging gears. Hopefully that's true. Anyway, let's first start off with looking at some of these awesome parts, again, from Sticky RX. So go check them out if you need to get any of your sticky buttons taken care of. So check this out. These have been refinished by Sticky RX, so they look absolutely amazing look at the detail on them yeah these are what you want and they feel great they have a nice tactile feel everything works so all these again done by sticky rx however this button broke right so i went to go get a new version of this button it turns out you can't just buy this button no 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 you have to buy the whole stupid thing so this right here is actually a brand new ferrari part this right here was actually refinished by Sticky RX. So if you look at the two, um, huh, pretty much no difference. In fact, I was laughing because there's actually some minor discoloration right there on the brand new one, but no, the Sticky RX one looks absolutely perfect. So I'm actually half tempted 
to use the sticky RX one, but I think I'm just gonna use the new one since I have it. So I guess if any of you need this control switch for a 599, I can send you that. We can make a deal, just make an offer. Obviously, I don't have the window control switch, but the light switch has been redone. Looks like it feels good, still works. Yep, there you go. Woohoo, got the dashboard back in. So basically I had to reconnect the computer to the little dashboard module and then kind of like jam it in there. I'm probably gonna wait for Josh to do the steering wheel and all that stuff because that stuff was a total pain in the ass. So let me tell you, there is one problem with having a project span out this long is you start forgetting stuff. So I was gonna go install these on the seats since they're lovely. Turns out the seat like parts, the side trim for the seats, yeah, it's back at my house course so uh i guess we won't be doing these today <sighs> i also can't reinstall the light switches which go right there because we need to access in there once we install the brake and clutch pedals so once we install the clutch pedal assembly those have some screws that go in through that hole so i can't put those in and then the center console well i can't put those in because we have a new center console being manufactured for this car so i'm waiting on that as well i guess we can start working on the steering wheel but that josh took apart so i actually don't even know how it exactly goes, so I might wait for Josh to get here because I really don't wanna mess that up. All right, we've got the spring clock or whatever it's called, indicators, the switch for the indicators and everything's connected up wired. So I just need to screw it down and then we're gonna get the steering wheel back on and it's gonna start looking like an actual car again. Holy crap. And uh, yes, Josh is helping me with this part because uh, yeah, I don't trust myself. Look at that, it's starting to look like a car again. Got the steering wheel in, we just gotta get the steering wheel cover on and then uh it's kind of gonna button it all up oh man it's starting to really look like a car except for the you know rest of the interior that's missing Woohoo! got the steering wheel all set got the console back together looking nice my new switch that's all refinished looks and feels amazing thank you sticky rx well i think that's all we can do for today so i guess i'll kind of wrap it up here thank you guys so much for watching you are amazing we obviously will continue working on the 589 if you're interested in doing a conversion kit go check out gated6.com that is my conversion company so again we're gonna have 430 kits ready to ship very soon 599 kits are probably gonna be at least another month so we're getting those parts sorted and we're gonna submit them to the manufacturers very soon so that will be coming out probably sometime in April. Hopefully, hopefully April. We're gonna have a lot of car stuff coming your way. You're gonna wanna stay tuned. It's gonna be sweet.